Hey guys, Joe here, and here I am to talk to you about the top 5 best weapons for the Rainmaker new mode in Splatoon. Now, I've been playing Rainmaker a lot. This is how I've been ranking up personally. I've ranked up a ton doing this game mode. It's really easy to kind of break. It's not the most balanced game mode, but it is, of course, very fun. I hope that these weapons do kind of help you decide what weapon to pick while you're playing, and if you pick any of these, you should have a decent chance at winning. Thank you guys for watching, though, and let's get this started. For my fifth pick, I thought I'll pick a weapon that is pretty good in all game modes, and its greatness extends to this one too, that being the Tentatech Splatter Shot. Now we all know that it kills pretty fast, has a good amount of attack, speed, damage, and the ink consumption isn't really way too horrible, but the main reason I put this weapon on this list is because of the Ink Zooka weapon. Now you may be thinking that isn't the Rainmaker Ink Zooka, and that's kinda true, but in fact the regular Ink Zooka does a really good job against the Rainmaker. You can shoot out a lot of shots from very far away very quickly, a lot faster than the Rainmaker, so they really can't attack you back way too easily and you can easily break the shield on the rainmaker to grab it very quickly also now in some game modes the blasters are great and some of them they are pretty trash depending on the game mode but on this one in particular i think it is pretty great especially the custom blaster now the main reason that i think that it is so good is because many enemies will stay very very close to the rainmaker kind of making a little squad and you can easily get multiple kills on all of them with this weapon with only a few shots or at least you want a good amount of damage and let your other people on your team finish up the kills now for the reason other than just that but the reason why i chose the custom blaster in particular is because it does have the bubbler now we all know that this special is really great in all game modes and it's very useful but overall I find it really more useful in this type of offensive game mode as we all know the rainmaker cannot get the bubbler so you might not think it's really not way too good but in reality if you do position well if you position right in front of him with all three of your teammates you can make in line in front of the rainmaker all invincible and you can make an easy push while getting a lot of kills now this lets you get right up in the opponent's faces and helps you really a lot when you're up against snappers and stuff like that, and really doesn't give the opponent that much counterplay they can do while you're pushing. If you have a lot of custom blasters, a lot of people with bubble, you can easily push up, and it's overall a pretty good strategy on this game mode. The Heavy Splatling came out a while ago, and I believe this gun was made just for this game mode, or at least it does very, very well in it. In Rainmaker, you usually want to have a few offensive guns and then a few defensive ones, and in this one, in this gun in particular, it is one of the best guns in the game for defense on Rainmaker mode. Now, on most maps, there's only one or two ways, a little bit of choke points, to get to the end and just to win overall, and this gun can really easily defend them just with the easiest of ease. Of course, it does come with a little charge, which is a bit annoying, but after that, it shoots with incredibly high damage very fast. Fast, but it also has of course the wall that can stop any fire that they would be sending back at you Or you can just throw out one of these to stop a choke point and the enemy just can't run past it Also the wall can stop one of the rainmaker shots and that is really good and just allows your teammates to come back a little bit Very quickly and easily now the defensive prowess of this gun is very good But it can suffer a little bit on the offense. And that's why I didn't put it any higher so in my opinion, the .96 Deco is kind of like the Heavily Splatling in the fact that it can really easily defend with its range and damage, and also has the wall for a little bit of an extra kick added on, but of course it doesn't need a charge so that's a little thing extra compared to the Heavy Gatling. Also, it's really easy to fend off opponents with this because it does just shoot instantly and it also gives you a lot more offense. You can throw the wall also when you are going on offense to let the Rainmaker hide behind it and then you can instantly attack the opponent. This gun kills pretty easily and fast but it also has amazing range and has the amazing special in this game mode, that being the Kraken. A lot of times people in Rainmaker once again will stay next to each other holding on to the Rainmaker of course and you can easily run in and splat them all just with your jumps while they're all next to each other while you are invincible. It's a very easy way to beat the Kraken. Uh, Rainmaker. After that, you can quickly break the bubble also that the Rainmaker has because the Kraken pretty much breaks it in two shots, and then you can pick it up for yourself, start pushing, and do very well with this gun. For my final pick, I went with the E-Leader Scope. Now, this gun is one of the best in all ranked game modes, but in this one, it's just kind of broken. You can easily defend from the Rainmaker, snipe off the opponent Rainmaker, or snipe the Rainmaker and explode for your team, or you can use the Echo Locator right before you pick it up, or you can just get kills really easily from afar, which you can always do with this weapon. Now, you really don't want more than one or two E-Leader Scopes because it's kind of hard to push, but if you have somebody like a .96 with you, it can become an unstoppable combo. He can throw out a wall, and then you can just snipe behind it free of charge, and you can actually go kind of offense if you do have a wall. The range and damage is really good, and you can counter pretty much every enemy in the game, and it can also kill the Rainmaker really easily, and you do kind of outrange him at certain points of the game, which is very, very good. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what guns you are using in the Rainmaker mode to level up. Now, personally, I do think the Rainmaker probably should have not been a ranked mode because it is a little bit too broken. It's more about fun, but if you do want a very fun game mode, I would recommend to try it out. And if you do have a team of four, you can easily break Rainmaker and then get a lot of points and rank up really quickly. So if you want to rank up, I'd recommend Rainmaker as the game mode for you. Thank you guys for watching, though, and I'll see you all next time.